Hey guys, in today's video, I'm just going to do a quick video about why PS4 power supplies blow. Um, this is a common question that we get, and I'd like to show you guys a, a couple of things of the PS4 power supplies. So this is the outside, this is the internals of the power supply. But hopefully this video will, will show you uh, the reason why power supplies blow and, and how it can help you guys in the future. Uh, just remember this is not a technical video, it's just how to prevent your power supplies from blowing. So we'll be back shortly and I'll uh, show you a little couple of tips and, and what the power supplies look, inside, look like inside and why they do blow. See you guys now. I'm going to bring the camera down to the table. Okay, now that we uh, got the video pointed down more to the table, this is generally what your PS4 power supply would look like. Um, if you guys have ever opened a PS4, you'll see that this is uh, what the power supply looks like. This is where your, your plug plugs into. So uh, if we actually zoom in, I'm just going to try and bring you guys a little bit closer down there. Um, so you guys can see what it looks like. So that's basically where your, your two pin or your eight figure, figure eight two pin plug will plug into. That's the inside of the uh, PS4 Slim power supply. So you can see that's, that's basically what it looks like. Um, the model numbers are usually written down in these codes here to give you the voltage specs and everything on the power supplies. But today what we want to do is uh, we want to talk a little bit about more why, why the PS4 power supplies do go on them. So let's just zoom out a little bit more. I'm going to bring the, uh, the internals, there we go, there you can see that's basically um, what it looks like. So if you look at it like, uh, just flip it around a little bit. So basically that's, that's how it fits inside the, uh, sorry, I've got the whole thing mixed up there. So that's basically, that's basically what it looks like um, on the inside as you can see. So let's just go down to, let's just put this down the application so we can have a little bit of a closer look here. I'm going to zoom in to these uh, items quickly a little bit so the guys can see a little bit better. So as you can see there, there are quite a few components on the, uh, on the power supply. We can zoom in a little bit better for you guys. So you can see what's involved, transformers, capacitors, uh, more caps, MOSFETs. Uh, that's the MOSFETs that sit underneath that aluminium bit, uh, that aluminium bit there. Um, there's a couple of uh, MOSFETs and, and, and components that sit under there. Um, but as you can see, there's quite a few different different places where uh, that goes in. This 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 PS4 uh, power supply is the 160CR. Um, that's the connection points for they go into the main board itself. So when you when you plug it down into the console, that's what it looks like. So zoom back out quickly. I'm sorry, sorry, just going to zoom it back out again so you guys can get a bit of a uh, bigger view. Um, sorry, one more thing I just wanted to quickly show you guys. At the bottom of these uh, power supplies, you'll see there's a couple of resistors and uh, a couple more components, uh, little ICs and that type of thing that also run at the bottom of these, um, at the bottom. So on the flip side, obviously we had all the caps and everything. Uh, please, I must just also warn you that these capacitors here, uh, right there, that brown one there, and you'll see there's a couple more of this side here. These things do store uh, a lot of power, uh, quite a lot of volts. So if you do take it apart, um, I'm just looking at it now, it's 450 volts that they do store. So if you do take it apart, please, please be very careful. Um, they do store power. Sorry, I'm just going to get this back in focus again. They do store power and um, they will shock you so and and believe me it's not nice i've been shocked by them a few times already um and uh, sorry guys i can't get the camera perfect but they do store power so when you ever do take a power supply out your ps4 slim out of the actual uh, the casing itself just make sure you uh, when you flip it around um you will actually see where they come through the board um the little pins on the caps, they can, they can uh, shock you quite badly. But as you can see, there's, there's quite a few different um, 
different little components on the on the board on the bottom side of the board too on this board or the power supply. But anyway, let's just get to to what the video was intended for. Um, as I said, the reason why mostly the biggest reason we get power supplies probably um, that do blow is mostly caused by um, lightning in the summer times, um, especially here in South Africa and uh, Johannesburg in South Africa. We we got quite quite good uh, quite a couple of good thunderstorms here. So um, during the summer times, so this is when you'll get a lot of the, these uh, power supplies blowing. Um, they do have a fuse in them. Just try and get it nicely in view for you guys. You'll see there where my, my finger is there. That is a fuse. So they do have fuses in them that, that do blow. But unfortunately, that's usually not just the only problem. Okay, it's not usually just the fuse. It'll blow a whole lot of different things. It could blow relays. It could blow um, the actual MOSFETs itself. Capacitors, it can even uh, you know burn these little transformers out. Um, how these how these uh, power supplies work? They actually got a two stage, two stages um, of power. So one transformer for one side and the other side. So you have two stages of electricity. So when your PS4 is in standby mode, it can only use one side of the of the power supply. And as soon as you switch it on, the rest of the power supply will actually come on and supply the the full voltage. Um, a lot a lot of people also know this, but it's actually 220 in. Um, your, your, through your normal plug and then it actually goes to about 13.5 um, you actually have a look on the power supply here. Um, so the output voltage is, is actually only 12 volts and 13 amps and then on um, standby it will be 4.8 volts and 1.5 amps this is specifically on the, the uh, ADP 160 CR power supply but what happens is um, the lightning will hit it and they'll blow that okay um, the next thing is dust. Dust is one of the one of the other biggest culprits. Um, if you can just imagine, uh, dust is static. Okay, um, fluff and dust can create a short. So what would happen is, if you can, I'm just going to try and see if I can zoom in. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more for you guys, um, just to give you give you a little bit of a bit, a bit of a picture of with these components and they look like okay so it's pretty good um, you can see down there these two little wires that run up um, I'm going to try and see if I can turn this a little bit sideways for you okay you can see a little bit underneath those caps there's a gap there um, underneath a lot of the components there might be gaps uh, there's a copper winding on a, on a little uh, rectifier type thing um, that little blue thing there is also like a fuse um, there's that fuse I was telling you guys about just now. Let's um, just try and flip it around, keep you guys in the view. So you see, there's another little cap there, that little yellow thing, uh, oh, <laughs> that little, little yellow, little yellow bulb thing that, that I'm trying to get into the picture there. That's another type of a capacitor. Um, don't worry, guys, I'll get used to this still. Um, there you can see the caps also that open where it goes through. So it's a lot of little components and then also on the other side um, Let's just try and get you a better view there So you can see in between these all of these components. They do have a little bit of resin on them, but what actually happens is um, the dust gets in between these components and, and what it will do is once it goes in between two components on the legs it will short it out, all right, and that's that's usually how it will uh, burn the power supplies. Um, again, on the bottom side, like I said, on these little components, they do have a type of protective resin over them, but it doesn't. It's not perfect. So all these little tracks um, on the board itself. I'm gonna try and see if we can get that into a better picture there. Uh, maybe uh, uh, it goes out of view. Okay. So, um, all these little tracks that run across and to connect to all the different components, if the dust sits on those, they will short out. Okay, it will definitely create a short. Um, and that, that's, that's why power supplies will also blow. So, as you can see, between these components here, they've got little legs on the edges. So, just imagine a piece of dust going in between those. 
that's a little, little pocket. Um, that's one of the biggest problems that we're having at the moment is, is dust. Uh, we always recommend that people service their PS4 consoles at least once a, a year. Um, and whatever you do, please don't just blow out your console. I'm going to show you now why. A lot of people on YouTube um, will tell you to take a can of can of air, sorry, a can of air or something, and just uh, blow your your PS4 out. And this is how you service it. Okay, this doesn't work. Um, it's not going to work. You can't just blow your your consoles out. It's unfortunately not the way it works. Um, you've got to strip it down, you've got to blow out everything piece by piece to get all the dust out. I'll just going to show you quickly on, on this uh, power supply here. So as you know, that's the back. So when this sits inside the PS4, that will be the back side. So what happens is, on the PS4s, the, if it sits like, let's, let's just take a, um, imagine it sitting like that. So underneath this, you've got your main board that sits underneath that and then you've got your fan and your cooling system and your your CD drive and everything on the top here, your power buttons and everything would be more or less in the front and your eject buttons. So when the fan spins it, it needs to cool the processor down but what it does is it actually blows all the hot air, it, would, it, would, it sucks in from both sides, it would suck in the air from the console, it would spin it around, it would cool down the, the um, uh, heatsink uh, that's on the processor to cool down the processor and what it would do is it would direct the air back through the power supply. So that's why they got this, this opening here. As you can see there's a big opening there and then it will go through, the, all the hot air would come out and go through there and it would disperse the hot air through the back end of the PS4, okay, on the PS4 slim. So now you can understand why when the um, when the consoles are running um, through the sides where it sucks in all the cold air from each side it picks up dust and that dust goes and sits on the fan and it sits in the, um, the actual heat sink itself i've done a video on that i'll just show you i've done a few photos or so we post on facebook to show you how it gets clogged up so what happens is when you're spraying air onto the fan area that dust you're going to blow right back in to the power supply into the inside here and um, it's going to lie in between some of the components and then you're just going to blow the components okay so you're just going to blow the power supply these power supplies aren't too cheap to replace um, they're pretty expensive they're not the same price as, as a whole new console but uh, they, they, they're not cheap see that's how you actually pop one open and you can see it just cuts close but a couple of screws are on it but yeah so if you're going to blow it it's not going to help it's going to sit inside there um, recommendation is how you can you can try and save your power supply from blowing um, if it comes through on the power side uh, I would I would recommend getting a, a, a UPS to plug in so from here basically it goes to the two pin plug that goes into the UPS and from the UPS it goes into your power source uh, or your power plug in your house don't um, use surge protectors they don't work we get hundreds of customers every day uh, still coming to us with, with blown power supplies that have surge protectors and they still blow. So that, that doesn't work. Um, the other thing is also um, with a UPS what we do is a UPS can fluctuate a little bit more on the voltage side. So it can take a lot more um, um, spikes, spikes in power. So power can go up a lot more, it can handle it. We find that the PS4 power supplies can't handle a lot of um, like spikes in power. You know, so if your power does go up a little and drop, power goes up and drop. Your power is never a constant um, voltage on uh, supply to your house. And they're all a little bit small dips and, and spikes and dips. And this is what, what also generally blows these power supplies. Uh, what I like about the UPS is especially um, if it's got a very good protection and you're a little bit uh, better. Um, UPSs, they keep your power very constant and very clean with uh, the best frequency and, and no up and down spikes. So that's, a, that's one of the biggest tips that I can give you guys is you don't have to buy um, a very top uh, high-end uh, high-amperage um, power supply, uh, sorry, uh, UPS. 
what I do is just buy a small little one with a little one, one plug jack in the back. Um, you might need a connector that would connect into the, the two point plug itself, um, to your two point plug that goes into there, um, or whichever plug you guys use in your country. But um, just buy a small one. All you want it to do is, it's got a bit of backup power, so if the electricity goes off, you can shut it down uh, properly, the PS4. And you just want to stop it from those those big spikes or when the electricity does go off completely and it comes back on that that major major spike that comes up and then drops down um, because that actually blows blows the power supplies so i hope this video will, i hope you guys like this video on, on why the ps4 uh, power supplies blow um, like i said this is not slim all the power supplies different the pros are a bit different to this they're much fatter the, the older models are a bit fatter so we do have a lot of different ones. The PS4 Slim's got about three different uh, power supplies in them. And usually, Jerry, what, what will uh, change in them is this little plug here. That plug really, that, that plugs into your main board to give your main board the, the 12 volt voltage or the 4.5 volt or 4.7, like we've said. Um, so guys, I hope you enjoy the video and speak to you soon. And please can I ask you to subscribe and like Please like, like, let me try on that. Like our videos. Um, no, the thumbs down, the thumbs up. Please like our videos so so we can uh, help it. You'll help us um, on Google so people can check our algorithm, uh, the algorithm, and, and we can get more views on, on videos like this. I'm going to try and help you guys out as much as I can. So please subscribe. Please like our video. Chat to you guys later. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.